plans that I have for you, says the Lord in Jeremiah 29, 11. What an exciting life we're living today. And excited I am right now to show you the great work the Lord has done in my friend, Tony Sluces. He's an evangelist, has been a pastor, and he was abused when he was a child. Wanted to become an actor uh, during his younger years. And now he just goes around the world preaching the word and, and teaching other people how he has overcome such obstacles in life. And I personally want to say that I recommend some of his books and I'm just amazed at how many books has written. My very first book that I read about Tony was um, No God, No Fear. Like, you have to know God in order to have no fear. This is one of his very first books that he published and this one's a revised one. Um, it has a different cover than one I originally have in my other library, but uh, this is one of my favorites. Actually, my child has read this book, and I'm just amazed at his work. He has five books so far, and it's just so amazing. Um, Forever Grace is another one, and um, I, just, I just want everyone to be encouraged to go to Tony's website. His website is yourplaceofgrace.com. He's from West Virginia. And we have been kept in touch and praying for each other, praying for our families. He's all over the news. He's um, in the media. He's um, also been a TV host for several programs. He's been on TVN, for those of you, uh, Trinity Broadcasting Services. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys, look him up. He has a website, and it's uh, yourplaceofgrace.com. Tony, guys, go look him up amazing books he has five books and i encourage you to um, look up his books and look him up say hi to him go to his facebook and try to add him as a friend hopefully he doesn't have over five thousand friends but if he has a like page go there um, i personally have him as a friend but i'm just encouraged to wanted to share this with you because i believe in lifting up those that serve the lord and tony it has definitely proven to his community, he has proven to his friends, to his family, what a tough life he has had. And I want you guys to look up his life and see that no matter what you go through in life, whether it's abuse physically, mentally, um, it doesn't matter. You know, it, God has a purpose for our life. And some of you can become angry towards God or towards life itself. Sometimes not even towards God, but sometimes it can be just against other people and um, it can be towards um, just life in general and I encourage you you know to seek the Word of God I encourage you to find people like Tony to find people that have written books that have uh, written books and back up their word and their story with um, the powerful Word of God so every time you see something that someone has overcome such terrible and horrendous obstacles in life, you know, look for those people because people don't just spread their wings and fly. You know, we come from a lot, a lot of battles in life and everyone has been through some kind of battle in life. Uh, some people have lo lost their children. Some people have lost, um, you know, their pets and some people have lost uh, fortunes and for some people that really matters a lot. But seriously, God has a purpose for your life. And I encourage you to keep seeking his word. Keep seeking those that did diligently seek God and diligently seek his word. And follow those people. Follow those leaders that are constantly abiding and dwelling in the temple of God. And so I encourage you to look him up, Tony. And uh, like I said, his website is your place of great. Um, I'm sorry, your your place of great grace within. That's his website. Uh, but uh, uh, and not, if not, just find him on um, Facebook and uh, try to send him a message. I know you guys have gone through a lot in life, but don't be discouraged. God is great, and God is here for you. And no matter what we go through in life, we can always overcome those obstacles. God will always send you an angel. You call him friends. But they're angels. They're people guiding you. And you know those angels, they have to have an obedient heart to be able to do their work. 
and to be able to do what God has called them to do. Sometimes God tells you to go do something and go give someone an encouraging uh, word. Sometimes God even tells you to go give someone a hug and out of embarrassment or you don't know how that person's going to act, you don't give them a hug. Well, I'll send you a lot of hugs and I'll send you a lot of kisses and I'll send you a lot of love. And you know what? God is there for you and don't give up. So guys, look him up. I thank you so much for staying with me online. And I'm going to keep encouraging you um, by going on this particular website of mine on Facebook, uh, my author page, to bring you more authors and bring you other of my friends. I have tons of friends um, who have given me my other books and uh, tons of friends that I know personally that I would love to um, show you what they've written and give you feedback on their lives and give you a testimony on them. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Never give up. God is with you and so are we. God bless you.